it's Blinka, it's Circuit, it's Python time. <laughs> Circuit Python. Do you have a song for each one? Yeah, I'm gonna have a song. Okay. Now. Code Plus Community. This is our weekly roundup of all the things going on in the community of Circuit Python, MicroPython, Python on hardware, and more. Let's get cooking. Let's get cooking. All right. Um, big Python news, which is coming up May 1st to May 9th. Congratulations, to the audience, and to Nina, who will be doing. Nina Z, she's keynote. awesome. She's got this cool yep. e Gemma earrings that we posted about. That's right. Nina is a keynote. software engineer with over a decade experience. She's currently focused on Python at Microsoft on the cloud developer team. Um, she's written satellite software, HBO, code that helped connect people at Meetup, and implemented time wasting features at Reddit. Um, this will be a talk about embedded devices and how it impacts and grows our community. So, this, of course, is an interesting talk to us. Our team will be out there and they'll be in attendance as well. DigiKey and Adafruit, we teamed up together. Everyone in the audience is getting one of these. So you can play the attendee. And the team will be doing um, the sprints, the or the open spaces, I should say. It might be sprints. And uh, they'll be there. There'll also be uh, Mick, Melissa, Brent, Brian, and uh, probably some other people that are in the Adafruit community and more. So say hi if you're at ICON. And once again, congratulations, Nina. And y'all are in for a treat because her talks are fantastic. Okay, circuitpython.org is our new site. You know how you know? Because we have a sticker. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> yeah. What does it say down there? Circuitpython.org. So, yeah, we'll, I use it every day now, like eight times a day. Yeah, we'll have these. These are going to replace the stickers we have in stock. This is coming soon. But um, we added some more features to the site. What did we add? First up, there is features. Feature, the the features. features are the features. Okay. Yeah, so each board we went in, this is something in GitHub, and there's something called Jekyll that takes the markdown in GitHub and then turns it into a website. It's a really cool way to do static websites. So we went into each board and we said, this is a good baseline set of features. Does have a speaker, solder-free alligator clip, display, Wi-Fi, feather compatible, battery charging, robotics, LoRa radio, Bluetooth, BLE. And that's where we started, we'll add more, but we also have all the manufacturers, that's an advanced search. Also, the secret area, if you go to circuitpython.org slash stats, you can see downloads per board yeah. for each release. And that's really interesting because there's tens of thousands of people using each build, each part of Circuit Python now. We added other boards. This is uh, Meow Meow. I call it Meowy Meowy. And this is a really cool Circuit Python powered board. This is the Cat WAN. LoRa Radio yeah. plugs into USB. Speaking of, Electronic Cats did a tutorial about using Circuit Python and their board. That was in our weekly newsletter and more. Oh, nice. That's the one that we just happened to put in there as well. Also, and you took some nice photos. If you look at the top of circuitpython.org and you click awesome, we awesome. render in awesome circuit, Ooh, circuit Python. That's our lovely list of all the resources that you could ever want that's right. for using circuit Python, hand curated. That's there. Uh, next up, if you wanted to see all the updates in awesome circuit Python, but you don't want to remember the GitHub yeah. repo, that's why we added it there. Yeah. So that is now there. Same thing. Good. Um, we also include things in Awesome, which are now going to be on that site as well. Like France just released, you can now buy this. This is the TI Python. It's a little Python module. Oh, look, module. it's actually a mini USB. That's it's funny. A, yeah, it's, a, ti it's a, a TI Python board. It runs Circuit Python. We didn't know about this. We like doing open source because we find out surprises like this. Someone already said, cool, I like this. I'm going to go ahead and put that Adafruit version on it and run Moo. Kind of cool, right? This is really cool. It's funny that they, I, I mean, I really want to get one of these because it's kind of like mystifying to me that they totally went and did this yeah. and we never heard about it. I, I guess if you want the lowest cost chip and maybe they didn't want to use STM for some reason, this works yeah. well. Okay. Right, blink on calculators. Next up. What else do you put Blink on? Python snakes its way to USB hub. That's right. Circuit Python is on the capable robots programmable USB hub. It's a hub that's also an Dev board, I squared C, GKO, SPI bridge. In addition to being a four-point hub, high-speed hub, it's a programmable hub, and it's a Circuit Python-based development board. This thing is super weird and also like super cool. Like I like it when people make dev boards that are just like wacky. And yeah. this one, it's like you wouldn't expect the USB hub to be a dev kit, but they did. Nope, it is. And it's got like a microbus connector. It is super interesting. All right, well, it is a 7051. It's like a powerful chip. Where else is CircuitPython? Well, CircuitPython sneaks its way to HackerBox. Uh, we are thrilled that the latest HackerBox is shipping with CircuitPython. HackerBox 41 includes CircuitPython, MakeCode Arcade, the Atari 
console and more. There's an instructable. You can purchase it from our site. You can get it from Hacker Boxes. This is um, all the stuff you get in it. We have it in our store. We'll talk about the new products. And uh, the cool thing is, this is just yet another example of uh, raising everyone's boats, as they say, because we have a subscription service. Yeah. Hackerbots has a subscription service. Teamed up. We teamed up. So if you like hacking and like doing cool stuff, you're going to like this. Yeah. All right. Um, I thought this was neat. These are the little mini Sams. And, uh, now in all colors. Yeah. And uh, it's neat because uh, Ben posted up a whole bunch of photos, and you can see there's a whole series of them. Something interesting I was actually checking today. So Microchip didn't used to have Samd 51s in a lot of stock. It used to be like many months to get them. Yeah. Um, they now have like a couple tens of thousands in stock at all time, which is actually a good sign. It means the Samd 51 is a solid chip. Yeah. They keep a lot of stock of the items that are the most popular. That's normal. Do you think because we bought a lot? I actually think that there's a lot of people using the Samd 51. Mm -hmm. I think, you know, we, we really like the chip. But I'm noticing that all the new dev kits out that normally you'd think would use a SAMD21, they're skipping straight to the 51, like mm -hmm. this, this mini SAM, because it's not that much more expensive. Okay, cool. All right, next up, um, we've got this cool project. This made it to the newsletter this week. This is a standalone GPS logger with CircuitPython using Adafruit and particle hardware. We'll have some particle news later because we're going to see some particle folks this week. I'm wearing my particle shirt. Yeah? yeah. All right, next up. Maybe Lady Ada can talk about what Scott was building. Mm, so this is really neat. So Scott has an obsession with Game Boy hardware and is making Game Boy Cart and also is really excited about MIDI and keyboards. So why not combine these two things and create a custom Game Boy Cart that again has that SAM D51 on it and it has a MIDI input jack um, and then it controls the audio synthesizer software on the Game Boy. So you can basically play chip tunes yeah. over MIDI. So this is a video. We have a little video. The thing about the video is... Is there sound in it? There is. Okay. And for like, folks wondering, them. normally ask an engineer is a little quieter. We are full on factory mode here. No, I know. That's full why. Factory there's mode. stuff being made right now. Yeah. Actually, I can show some of the cool stuff. That, uh, maybe I'll we grab will. one of the will, things that just came we off. Will. All right, maker update. Donald posted the latest maker update. We do this every single month. Don. And also now he's doing it with DigiKey. Check it out. It has a lot of our CircuitPython news. Um, it's a full video, so we're just reminding you to watch it. There is some cool community projects. Pi Portal is out. So this is this face doesn't exist. Yeah, on Dan's site he has Pi Portal Ghost Frame. This is um, a AI generated face. He uses some cool middleware to get these images over the internet. This is I think the easiest, most popular, maybe now because we have a lot out there. Yeah. IoT connected display programmable with Python. Yeah, I think so. This is NASA photo of today. Today's the black hole, and that's why the code earlier was E.T. Black Hole. <coughs> we have a lot of space-themed uh, Animox projects. Yeah. Not a lot of sports, but uh, we did a lot of space. Every, uh, we'll do that next week. <laughs> yeah. every, um, every next week is sports week. Every next week is our fantasy football Wait, team. Um, Laura made a Swedish word of the day. She wrote a PHP page that scrapes the transparent website and feeds Jason to the Pi portal via Wi-Fi. Nice. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, Cedar yep. Grove adapted Neo Trellis M4 to a 32 HP E-Rack. Good. Good for button pushing. Yeah. Uh, Multi-purpose IR remote. This is a DIY solution to make your own keyboard. It's essential commands to navigate, confirm, and cancel. Uh, this is a no slumper. This is if um, you slump too much. And uh, here, go watch this. All right, kid. Slump. Uh, slump. You're slumping. You're slumping. So when they're slumping, um, you can and you can set this to figure out when it'll activate the audio alert. It'll yeah. tell you. And you can do that. Good. Automatically. Good posture. Yeah, this is kind of neat. Um, I like this site. It's, um, I think it's called Homemade Garbage. Yeah. And That's uh, like totally like a nice thing. Yeah. And uh, they tried out Circuit Python, and this is what they made with it. So I thought that, that was cool. cool. LED effects. Yeah. Deshi Poo is making some cool games. Um, I saw this on GitHub via uh, Deshi Poo's, I think it was a, a message in our Discord. Yeah. And uh, it's Tetris for CircuitPython. It's cool. Nice. Special congratulations to Python Discord. If you go to pythondiscord.com, you will see that they have a server that it's all about Python. They just hit 15,000. So we partnered up with them for folks who want to know more about Python outside of just CircuitPython. So they just celebrated, and we're partnered with them, so they made a cool button. Um, the video is linked up so you can see that. And, of course, we have our um, uh, 11,000 people. We'll have just 12,000 people soon. So that'd be kind of cool. Um, this I thought was neat. This is a Halo code. It's a micro Python based single board computer. Yeah, it's an ESP32 
uh, module and it's got 12 NeoPixel LEDs, it's got like 10 pads, it's got this like, you know, I think they're capacitive pads too, and it's got um, a button and a microphone It can do like smart speaker type stuff, because right. the ESP32 has it as a demo. And then of course you can run MicroPython on it as well. Um, doesn't show up as a disk drive, because it doesn't have native USB, but it shows up like a uh, serial COM port, I think it has like a, um, like a Grove connector on the back, you can kind of see it in the corner there. Yeah. And then you program it, but you have to program it, I think, over Wi-Fi. Okay. Uh, this is kind of cool. This was a uh, MicroPython project that manages a smart kettle. ESP32, Google Assistant, uses Google Digiflow to recognize the speech and then convert it into commands. Huh. So I was like, kettle, hot. Um, there's also some events coming up. World of Python and more. This is doublein.pyladies.com. April 16th, there's a history of Python packaging, some MicroPython stuff. Uh, PyCon, uh, sorry, KeyCon is coming up and that is in april are we a sponsor we're a sponsor heck yeah yeah and then one of the other things in the world of events right now is if you're interested in speaking at PyCon au australia the call for proposals is now open that's a nice snake in the world of coming soon and we'll probably do in our normal like top secret stuff we have the gizmo this is a add-on for circuit playground express and we also have a game player called Pi Badge, and uh, we'll be talking about that on future shows and more. But that is the news of the week for Python on Hardware. Yay!